Hello there, welcome back. It has been a little while, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I have actually moved up to Edinburgh, I'm finally here in my new flat. Yes, I know I still need to do a flat tour, it is coming, I promise it is on its way. Um, but this is my new, my new bedroom, very exciting. Tried to create a YouTube backdrop, so let me know what you think of that. <laughs> If you are new here, I'm Hayley and I talk all about adventure travel. So if you are following me already, you'll know that I have just come back from Mallorca and that was for a conference uh, called Traverse 21. And that was with a company called Traverse who, again, if you're following me on Instagram, you would know I went to the Creator Awards recently as I was nominated for one of the awards. Um, and it's the same company. So they held a conference over in Mallorca. In the lead up to the conference, there was a week of midweek experiences. Unfortunately, a lot of mine did get rained off, but we came up with some other adventures to do instead. Um, and it was equally as cool. It didn't stop it from being an amazing trip. Um, I met so many new people that a lot of uh, which I've been speaking to online before. So it was really nice to actually put faces to Instagram handles. <laughs> so that was really cool. It was a shame that it rained so much, but it did mean that we had to get a bit creative and try and find other adventures that you can do in Palma um, when the weather wasn't so great, which actually turned out to be really fun. I ended up finding some remote caves, some cool museums, so stay tuned for those. Um, if you do enjoy my videos, please do subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you're not following me, do check me out on Instagram. It's at Wild Ever Since. There's a full highlight reel there all around me or what I got up to, so you get a bit of behind the scenes. So guys, I'm gonna start with a room tour of where I stayed for the first week. Now, it was right on the edge of the old town, so it was a perfect location, just down the road from the bus and train station, so it was a super good location just for going out, walking down there, and then exploring the rest of the island. Um, you did have really, really good, like, lunch and brunch spots around there as well, I know, brunch, very millennial, but there we are. So I'm going to show you that now, um, and then we'll get into some of the Palma adventures, and yeah, I will see you in Palma. Okay guys, so I'm just going to do a quick room tour. So we've got some nice big cupboards in here. We've got a nice big floor length mirror as well. This bed looks amazing, it's so big and I feel like I'm only going to take up like this much space. <laughs> then you've got this really nice desk space with obviously tea, coffee, water, that kind of thing a little mini fridge as well which I definitely won't be touching because it's probably extortionate <laughs> a big TV there as well which you can get Netflix on which is great after spending the day adventuring take a look at this balcony it is so cool it's so bright the windows are huge they do open as well um, and it's almost like an indoor kind of balcony it looks out to the street as well, which is really nice. And you've got some really nice cafes down there that I will definitely be visiting. <laughs> so we'll just go through to the bathroom. Um, now this bathroom is, is so clean, really nice, like stone. There's plenty of like towels and flannels, which is really nice as well. Um, you've got a massive mirror, which is perfect for doing like makeup and stuff. And then you've got this shower which has got the rain fall kind of bit at the top and then a separate handle bit as well. And it does come with some shampoo and body wash and stuff too. I love all of the decoration in this room as well. It's like stone and rattan and kind of furniture and it really gives like a quite a modern but really nice clean feel to it. This place is actually perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for. Really high ceilings, really bright with lots of light. So yeah, it's perfect. for a bit of a wander and had some food and spoke to the guy on reception and he just gave me a long list of things that he recommends to do in Palma which is really nice of him. There is the list and I will add them in the little description below as well. I'm not gonna lie, um, today feels like it's been such a long day. I got up at about half two, had to get a bus to the airport um, and then, yeah, the flights, tried to get another bus, failed, um, got a taxi instead, and then, yeah, I've just been walking around, to be honest, and 
it feels like such a long day. I find it so crazy how I started off in Gatwick and now I'm here just in a few hours. It's, it's mad how you can just hop on a flight and be anywhere. Yeah, it's really pretty and I'm excited to catch up with everyone um, at Traverse. <laughs> guys from Palmer um, arrived yesterday just had lunch with Carl and Kev um, and yeah it's basically been tipping it down it's absolutely grey skies I just got drenched as you can probably tell apparently there's only three days of rain that usually happens in November and we've managed to hit them straight away so I'm trying to find things that you can do in Palmer without having to be outside um, and so, that is why I've come here to the cathedral. I'm gonna check that out. There's also a museum I'm thinking of potentially visiting or just getting the train to somewhere random and dealing with the rain, but I have a very sad looking umbrella, so. It's actually quite pretty from up here. You've obviously got all the palm trees along the front some water fountains there and then this huge beautiful building so I'm just wandering around the building um, the architecture is fantastic you can see all up here it's really beautiful but I think it's really important I mean obviously we were coming here thinking, hoping, hoping it would be really sunny. And unfortunately right now it's not, but hoping that the sun will make an appearance at some point in the next few days. But I think it's important to show this side as well because this is the reality, you know, you're not always gonna come to a place and it's gonna be amazing sunshine. And so it's important to know what you can do when it is raining. <laughs> also, I am lost. little streets are with the uh, plants up there. There's like little dogs, statues hanging out of the window. I think they're dogs anyway. Or gargoyles. But that one looks kind of like a dog. I'm not gonna lie, this view is quite impressive. You've got all the hills over there in the distance. And then this incredible cathedral. Okay, so <laughs> after wandering around the cathedral a little bit, um, really pretty actually, even though it was in the rain, it's still really, really pretty and nice streets to kind of just wander around. Um, I've now come to the Museum of Contemporary Art, so great thing to do when it's raining, um, obviously it's all inside, so I'm going to check that out, hopefully I'll be allowed to film but I'm not 100% sure so we'll see, but this is the outside, and yeah, I quite like contemporary art so uh, it's quite cool and it's a bit different as well, the museum's really pretty on the outside. Uh, and yeah, it's a great thing to do inside where it's warm and dry. <laughs> so I've just read a sign. It's open Tuesday to Saturday, um, 10 till 8, which is good because it's a Tuesday. So perfect timing. <laughs> uh, let's check it out on site. Information of the exhibitions in the books uh, over there. Great. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. So we've made it inside the uh, art gallery. Obviously I need to wear a mask here. Um, and I've been told to keep my rucksack on my front. Not sure why, but there we are. Um, and I'll show you around some of the cool exhibits. That's on tour.
okay. I think I have to go outside. <laughs> oh. I bet you this is just all their washing. This is just from the kitchen. <laughs> We're continuing outside. I'm out on the terrace. I've never seen a museum like go outside like this before. Um, look at these nice palm trees. Oh, imagine <laughs> if it was warm. Oh wow, where am I going? Ah, look at this. Well, I feel like I've accidentally taken a fire escape. <laughs> Am I supposed to be up here? <laughs> okay, we're continuing. Hoping that I've not taken a wrong turn. <laughs> it was only actually about, I think it was €4.50 Euros to get in, so it's really cheap as well. Um, it would be great on a nice day. It's also perfect for if it's raining. Um, it has had a break in the rain, thank God. Um, so I can enjoy this terrace up here, but yeah, just taking in the views as well. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still questioning whether I'm going the right way. Um, I feel like I've taken a wrong turn and yeah, ended up on a kind of roof fire escape, but <laughs> it's cool, it's got good views, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Right guys, I'm heading back down the way I came like an absolute lemon. I swear there's only one way you can go, but I've somehow got lost. <laughs> okay, so I wasn't, I wasn't lost. Um, it kind of just ended there. So a few of the floors at the moment are off limits, unfortunately, because they're doing some work, um, fixing some bits up. Usually I think there's two more floors. Um, so yeah, that's it, but there's some really cool exhibitions here and I would definitely recommend it. So I'm back in my hotel room now. As you can see, my hair has completely exploded. Thank you, rain and humidity. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to get ready, chuck on some clothes, um, where I've been walking through the rain today, my jeans are absolutely soaked at the bottom, um, so I'm going to get changed, chuck some makeup on, and then going to head to, one of the girls just texted me, and I think they're going to have some pre-drinks before the evening event tonight, so I'm going to go there, um, which I'm super excited about, friends. <laughs> Um, and then yeah, we're gonna head over to the Traverse opening kind of party. It's like a casual drinks, but yeah, it should be good. Side note, I bought the most beautiful top today. This is not it. This is just the bag. So, I mean, the, the, this is just the bag. <laughs> Let me open it up and show you. I am in love. It's so pretty and it's like a silky material. And I was speaking to the lady and basically she gets all the stuff from India um, and then sells it over here, but oh, so pretty. I think I'm actually gonna wear it tonight with my wet jeans at the bottom. I didn't, they just wear them on. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm already now I'm gonna head out and catch up with Brogan and Holly um, and then yeah, head to the Traverse drinks. I'm not gonna take my camera with me. My camera's quite big and bulky, so I'm gonna leave that here, but yeah, I'll see you later. So that is the end of part one. There will be a part two coming out next week, so stay tuned for that, uh, where I go and explore one of the world's largest underground lakes. So, look 
account for that is pretty damn cool. As always as well, if you have any questions, please do pop them below. I'm more than happy to answer those at any time. I have worked in adventure travel for a really long time, so always happy to share some tips and advice. Thank you so much for watching this episode and I will see you in the next one. Bye. So I've just come out of the caves and oh my God.